So People Can Fly not long tweeted out sharing a new post on Reddit with many actual decent changes that are coming to the game pretty soon, including changes to legendary drops, buffed loot drops and much more. Today we get into it all guys. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So their latest post is what they're titling another Thursday news and dev update. Within this post, they cover changes to legendary drops, signing in issues, patch news, appreciation, package news, and lists of known issues. And today we check them all out. So let's get into it, people. Okay, so starting with changes to legendary drops. We're making some changes to legendary drops. These changes are not live today, but are planned to go live as part of our next patch. Here are the changes you can look forward to. Legendary drop rates across the board will be increased by 100%. Wow! Legendary level brackets will be removed so that all legendary items can drop at any level. What? Previously, some items could only drop from enemies of certain levels or above. For example, you get cowl could only drop from enemies of level 48 or higher. I did not know this was happening in the game i really didn't i may have to cover this in another video uh, look a bit more into it but we will see okay so legendary anti-duplication system will be implemented nice this system will mean that if a character has an item in their inventory or stash and a duplicate item is rolled the duped item will be re-rolled once note that this system does not guarantee that every drop will be unique, rather it is designed to provide a second roll at avoiding a duplicate. Okay, so that's pretty decent I guess. Scripted boss salute, Chrysaloid and Yagak will be able to drop non-class specific legendary helmets. Honestly, I didn't know they couldn't. This change will improve the variety of items in the campaign. Previously, these bosses would only drop a selection of legendaries, the same pool that was available in the demo, as well as the cannonball helmet. Okay then, so there is another specific loot pool that was already in the game, well I'm guessing me and many other people didn't know about. The luck system will be improved, and players should no longer experience very long droughts without a legendary item drop during end game. The base scaling of legendaries dropping through higher difficulty level still applies, so you may still want to farm as high as possible. So that's pretty cool guys, I mean I like the changes to legendary drops, I'm not going to lie, I know a major issue with the game, and I covered this in a video yesterday, talking about the problems with end game and the legendary loot drops was one of those problems, but it seems as though it's definitely heading in the right direction for sure. Okay, so moving on to signing in issues. Our upcoming patch will include changes and improvements to the backend signing system, which are aimed at improving signing times and mitigating against signing issues, especially on Xbox. For background, currently when the game signs in, it pulls any data tables related to balancing that have been updated since launch. Downloading a great number of these tables may be a root cause for the sign in timing out and players ultimately gain stock. We are now cooking the updated tables directly into our next patch, which should improve signing time significantly. Okay, so that's a decent uh, change too, because I mean, signing issues on Xbox, like I say, I play on the Xbox Series X and signing in still takes absolute ages. Okay, so patch notes. Our latest patch is undergoing testing, and we are hoping to release it early next week, though we will still confirm this. Some of its content can be found in the known issues list, but it will include a few other new things as well, including some potential significant improvements for multiplayer sessions. Sounds promising. The above signing issue combined with the legendary drop changes is one of the reasons why we needed a bit more time with this patch. We did not want to implement their legendary drop changes via the backend while at the same time running the risk of negatively impacting signing times. So we needed a bit more time to add these changes into the patch. Well I mean guys if they're going to actually update the game, make the game better for our benefit, I'm completely happy with them taking extra time to do this. Okay, so on to the appreciation package news. I mean, if you guys watch my video, I mean, appreciation packages promised uh, a legendary you hadn't already got. I mean, obviously, if you had all legendaries in the game, you're going to get a duplicate. But if you were missing a certain few, they said you were guaranteed one of those certain few you were missing. I got a duplicate, and many other people got a duplicate too. So, yes, 
This didn't roll out quite as planned. We saw that many of you received a weapon you already previously had obtained. This was not our intention. We're currently filing the appreciation package script and are planning to re-grant the package to players who will have claimed it between its initial release last Thursday and when its new version will be deployed like the next week. Any items already obtained through it are not going to be removed from your inventory. Cool. Okay, so a list of known issues here. Note 1. This is not an exhaustive list of things being worked upon. This is also not a list of patch notes for the next patch. Upcoming patches will address issues that may not be listed here. Note 2. Investigated means that we have been able to successfully reproduce an issue on our dev environment and are currently looking at the root causes of said issue. If we have not yet been able to reproduce a specific issue, it may not be listed here, but that doesn't mean we are unaware of it. Okay, so all items being marked as new when entering a new gameplay session. Issue will be resolved in the next patch, I'm so glad to see that. Tricks to movement impeded when using cyclone skill and being stunned. Issue will be resolved in the next patch again, I'm so glad to see that. How's Rangers items not appearing for players on the Epic Store? Issues being resolved guys. Pyromancer's feed the flame skill may not properly proc ash effect in multiplayer. Issues being resolved guys. Devastator's gravity jump can cause a client player to get stuck. Issue will be mitigated against in the next patch. Certain mods not working in particular when you're the client during multiplayer sessions. This is currently being investigated as it may be related to specific latency thresholds. This may be a part of the above mentioned bigger multiplayer connectivity issues investigation. Scrap grenade mods stop working after cutscenes. This issue is being investigated. Weapon mod Irvinous Locust does not deal damage if used together with the Weightlessness mod. This issue has been resolved guys. Players dying while a shield is active. This issue is currently being investigated. Rather than shields not properly mitigating damage, this issue may be caused by either the UI not catching up properly or it may be a case of certain shield mods continuing to proc their shield after death has occurred under edge cases. Example, a player continually generates shields and their death prevention mechanics are already on cooldown. They are then hit by enemy damage waves that deplete both shields in health at a greater slash faster rate than a shield can regenerate it in that window, leading to cases of player HP reaching zero for a split second before another chunk of shield is added. Okay, so Trix's Hunt the Prey does not turn player towards an enemy's back if aiming down sights immediately after activation. This issue is being investigated. Devastator's statue set bonus ends after 8 seconds. This issue is being investigated, people. Technomancer's Boreas set is not applying properly. Investigated. Devastator's blood donation class node may not work without any skill life leech stats, boost from other gear or nodes. Being investigated. Revive functionality not working as intended during multiplayer sessions with high latency slash pocket loss investigated journal entries slash pickups not appearing on secondary characters investigated damage blocks that on expeditions resort screen occasionally appears inconsistently abnormally low and guys again this is being investigated and that is what we have for the dev news today guys i mean some big changes coming with this patch next week can't wait to check out the legendary drops for sure but yeah in my opinion guys are definitely heading in the right direction fix the game up get loot drops working properly getting multiplayer working properly then add that new content they've promised i mean it's kind of looking up guys it really is but let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section but yes guys the end of the video is here if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one